It's a fundamental problem with the architecture of the cloud. What we have done on the right with our Gen 2 cloud is we have customer computers that the customers can use. We call them bare metal computers, by the way, and I'll, I'll show you a little more detailed picture. But you can have one customer in the bare metal computer. You could even have multiple customers in the bare metal computer. Some customers will choose to have that computer all to themselves. Some customers will say, well, I don't really care. I'm very cost sensitive. I'm happy to share the computer with other customers. It depends. But we will never put our cloud control code in the same computer that has customer code. That creates an incredible vulnerability to our cloud control system. So we've added a completely separate network of dedicated cloud control computers that not only protect the perimeter of the cloud, protect threats from coming from the outside and getting into the cloud, but we also form a, a perimeter around each individual customer zone. So customers can't get out of their zone and into your zone. And they can't hack our cloud control computer because there's no way to access it. There is no access to our cloud control computer. They can't look at the memory. They can't add code. They can't do anything to it. It's an isolated network they can't get at. We can't look at your data, which is nice. But the most important thing, they can't look at our control code. They can't change our control code.